On February 8th, Nintendo announced in its Nintendo Direct the addition of Game Boy, Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advanced games on the Nintendo Switch Online subscription. The first lineup of games is not massive, but we got some solid games. But how's the Game Boy emulation performing? That's what you're going to find out now. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Tony here again and welcome to another video. For those of us who grew up with the Game Boy, having those games added to the Nintendo Switch Online subscription is a fantastic way to relive some of our favorite childhood memories. And for younger gamers who never experienced the original Game Boy, it's an excellent opportunity to discover some of the best games from one of the Nintendo's most beloved systems. The Nintendo European Research and Development Division, based in Paris, France, is responsible for developing all the Nintendo Switch Online emulators. The Game Boy emulation on the Switch is top-notch. All the games I tested ran smoothly and fluidly, and I haven't experienced any issues or bugs with the graphics and sound, and they look amazing on the Switch screen. Some games have a multiplayer option for up to two players, local or online. Nintendo decided to go with the yellowish green screen on the Game Boy games, just like the original Game Boy GMG01, and not the black and white screen from the Game Boy Pocket, which gives a pretty nostalgic feeling. Unfortunately, there is no way to change the color palette as of now. It would be nice to change the colors to whatever you like, original Game Boy, Game Boy Pocket, or even the Super Game Boy released for the Super Nintendo. I wish it had more games at launch, but as I said in the intro, it was a solid start. One thing I can't understand is the choice of games. Why did Nintendo add Super Mario Land 2 and not the first game? Fine, I like the second game way more than the first one, but let's be honest, Super Mario Land is also a classic and I don't see a reason for it not being there. The games available so far are Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare, Game & Watch Gallery 3, Gargoyles Quest, Kirby's Dream Land, The Legends of Zelda Link's Awakening which is fabulous, Metroid 2 Return of Samus, Super Mario Land 2, Tetris and Wario Land 3. According to Nintendo's official website, more games are set to be added soon to the subscription, like Kirby's Tilt and Tumble, Pokemon Trading Card Game, The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages and The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. I wonder when they are going to add games like Super Mario Land, Kirby's Dream Land 2, Castlevania 2, Mega Man, Donkey Kong Land 1, 2 and 3, more Warrior Land games and of course, Pokemon Red, Blue and Green. I'd be thrilled if some of these games were added to the subscription. I don't know if it's the same in America, but we got the American and the European versions for most games here in Europe. The original Game Boy was released in 1989 and was a massive advance in portable gaming. Gunpei Yokoi was the engineer behind the design of the Game Boy, and he wanted to be more versatile than the 1980s Game & Watch, which by the way, he was also the designer. Nintendo will have a hard time choosing the games for the service. The Game Boy has over a thousand games in its catalog and was a huge sales success. Including the Game Boy Color sales, more than 118 million units were sold in total. Contradicting the opinion of Hiroshi Yamauchi, the Nintendo's president at the time, when he said no one would be interested in the Game Boy, and he was so wrong. Kirby's Dream Land is one of my favorite games on the Game Boy, and the first game I wanted to beat when the Game Boy emulator was released on the Switch. So that was it for today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments what Game Boy games you'd like to see coming next, also let me know if you want me to do a gameplay video playing any of those Game Boy games. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, it helps a lot, share this video with your friends, and consider subscribing to the channel for more gaming content, I'm uploading a new video every week. I hope you guys have a great week, God bless you all, and I'll see you in the next video, goodbye.